Hello and welcome to week 5, the last week of this Open SAP course. The topic for this week is additional sales interfaces and supply chain transparency. My name is Marco Ulrich and I'm happy to guide you through the coming units. In week 2, Iris has already introduced the demand generation option in demand planning or directly creating a sales or service order. All these options have the goal to plan and schedule the fulfillment of supplies and at the end to generate sales revenue. Unit 1 will cover further options as a kind of pre decessing process step to hand over sales order volume to SAP Business by Design. Classical B2C businesses but also many B2B businesses often have shop environments to generate additional sales volume. So for instance, they have a physical on-site shop with a small storage, but also virtual shops, also called web shops. To support such scenarios, there are three standard options available, which I will introduce in the next minutes. For an on-site shop, in general, you can use a point of sales interface and or the over-the-counter work center. For a web shop, an e-commerce interface can be used to integrate an individual or standard web shop environment, for instance built with SAP Hybris. All of these options hand over sales and service volume to SAP Business by Design for further proceeding. With the standard point of sales integration, an external point of sales application can be connected to receive relevant transactions. For instance, this point of sales interface can be used in a small on site shop with a petty cash where end customers can do their purchases. At the end, single or selected sales transactions can be transferred to SAP Business by Design. Additionally, also cash transactions can be handed over. As I have already mentioned for the point of sales feature, two types of transactions are offered, retail and petty cash. Retail covers the sale of an item via certain means of payment like cash, credit card, customer invoice and others. After the payment, a periodic data transfer from the point of sales application can be initiated. If the consistency check is transferred and successful, an automatic release can be done. Otherwise, adjustments might be necessary. For petty cash transactions, first accounting and entering of the resulted petty cash amount is necessary. After this, a data transfer can be done, maybe with a possible cash difference. Correction and release are the next to do's for the sales rep. And at the end, these data will be used in standard finance process steps like payment, liquidity management, as well as in inventory management, in case we are dealing with stock items. Now we are coming to the preparation and setup. Point of sales need to be selected in the business configuration as customer invoicing option. Together with this, also some master data are necessary, like accounts, petty cash, clearing account, revenue account, projects and payment terms, which are the base for non-stock items. Additional material master and logistics area are requested for stock items. So all these data are required to establish a successful data transfer. Ideally, you have a master data integration in place for this. Point of sales covers not only the straightforward steps for sales volume and cash but supports also specialities in case of credit card payments without account data 
as a card payment or online payments. There are also payment splits and gift certificate options available. Returning of goods or ticketing handling are a possible as well. If there are more complex transactions, it might be an option to establish an integration to SAP Customer Checkout, which is a powerful point of sales application provided by SAP. Our next topic for Unit 1 is the Over the Counter Sales option, which enables you to sell goods over the counter at a physical shop and includes features such as instant invoice creation, goods issue posting and automatically determination of prices and discounts. Compared to the point of sales interface, which we saw before, this feature is part of SAP Business by Design standard functionality and consists of two major steps. The first is the creation of a sale and the second is the receivable and payment processing. In the first step, the cashier creates an over-the-counter sale request within by design. Once the document is released, a delivery is automatically created in the background and the goods issue is posted. Also, the corresponding invoice is automatically created and printed. Alternatively, combined invoices for same customers can be created at the end of a period. The second step enables the processing of the incoming payments, initiated either internally by your company or externally by your customers. This process considers country-specific payment methods as well. Payments can be made manually or automatically via a payment run. Once the payments are released, they are posted in accounting. Let me do a quick demo of the selling part of this scenario. So, sell a product in a shop. So, let's go to our by design system. I'm logged in as a sales rep and switching to the work center over the counter sales. And here we have these two mentioned views over the counter sales and say new over the counter sales. Select a customer. So in our case, we will take the Silver Star customer. And on the right hand side, you see uh, some defaults which came up from our by design pre settings. So, for instance, the sales unit, which is the sales heating, and the invoicing unit, which is also sales heating. Going a little bit down and insert the relevant product. In our case, we sell our product P120125. And automatically, the list price out of our maintained price list, which is in our case 10 US dollar, uh, came up. And with this, we can do a quick check. We got a, a successful successful information. So, and now uh, if the accountant is uh, interested in a preview, he can do so. Now here it is. You see here the sales confirmation of our product with the price 10 US dollar. Having done this, let's close this preview and say invoice. I do a refresh. I can see this new sales, and if I switch to the available outbound deliveries, you 
here is also our new line item which I sold one minute before. Okay, switching back to our lights and to the next one. So prerequisite for using the OS account sales feature is to select this option in the business adaptation catalog. Furthermore, you need to maintain a dedicated logistics area with the logistic use over the counter stock. Within a site, this specific logistic use can only be selected for one area. Having a deeper look to the pay scenario, it can be divided into three variants. Pay now, pay later with immediate invoice creation, and pay later with deferred invoice creation. Pay now means that the customer buys the product at the counter and picks it up immediately, paying for it by cash, credit card, or by external payment. In the scenario pay later with immediate invoice creation, a customer buys a product at the counter picks it up immediately, but pays for it later. However, the customer chooses to immediately receive the invoice. Finally, the third variant, pay later with deferred invoice creation, means that the customer buys a product at the counter, picks it up immediately, signs the order confirmation and chooses to pay later, which means to receive the actual invoice later as well. Providing a web shop as further sales channel for customers is very common and to have an integration through the used ERP environment is beneficial. To fulfill this requirement, SAP Business by Design has a standard e-commerce web service interface and also a corresponding e-commerce work center. This enables a consumption and collection of sales volume, but also an integration of order fulfillment, invoicing and payment receipt as post-processing steps. Let me be more clear. SAP Business by Design provides technical interfaces for e-shops. The e-shop itself, which can be built for example on SAP Hybris, needs to be provided by the customer or a partner. More technical details on this topic will be provided in our Unit 5 of this week. As mentioned before, the complexity of an e-commerce integration scenario can vary a lot, depending on industry, product, country, to list only some. This overview of a web shop and its interaction shows some examples of what can be achieved. We can see here that a new or already known customer or user is logging in. He or she is creating a shopping cart, selecting products and finalizing the processes with a checkout. So during this purchase experience, both the web shop and SAP Business by Design can be triggered to provide real-time information like product availability, price information and so on. With an integration in place, a confirmed order created in the web shop automatically creates a sales order in SAP Business by Design. All post-processing steps like logistics fulfillment or payment allocation is part of SAP Business by Design standard. As mentioned, if an account does not yet exist in the eShop, it can be created and automatically the same will be done in SAP Business by Design. Also, account details can be updated upon changes in the eShop have been saved. Besides these operational tasks, this integration 
can be used also for self-service information processes or side scenarios like, for example, calendar options. Capabilities for analytics and SAP Cloud Application Studio enhancements are also available. To activate a webshop integration, e-selling needs to be selected and the corresponding questions need to be answered. This can be done in the Business Adaptation Catalog, in the Business Area Sales, Selling, Product and Services. In addition, a communication arrangement needs to be maintained with a certificate information. Depending on the selected scenario and customer requirements, a master data integration could be also necessary to run an efficient process. Examples for this master data can be customers, materials, users or service agents and chip from inputs. The available web services are providing various service operations like create, read, update or list. This offers the needed flexibility to build a professional and modern web UI. As I've mentioned along the presentation, a payment card process is supported as well. In this example, the payment authorization is done within the eShop. The settlement is done in SAP Business by Design. As by Design does not store confidential payment data, like credit card numbers, it is using PCI compliant tokens. Alternatively to this, the payment method external payment can be used to indicate that sales order will be externally settled. For example, via PayPal. We are now at the end of our first unit. We have had a look to some standard capabilities to consume sales orders from external applications. We saw the differences between a point of sales interface and the over the counter work center, and we had a look to integration use cases to an e commerce web shop. Thank you for joining. And I look forward to our next unit.